Hello. Today I'm going to talk about how to regenerate a small glove box. So from time to time through usage of the glove box, there can be a bit of oxygen accumulation that happens and of course we want to have a good nitrogen atmosphere in the glove box. And I've tested it and so we found that we need to do regeneration and so I'm going to start off first by explaining the gases that are used for regeneration of the glove box. So it's always hooked up to this gas. This is uh, 4.8 nitrogen, and we're going to also need that one for the regeneration. And next to it, we have the H5N gas, and that means that it's 5% hydrogen with the rest being nitrogen. Now, we need to use a special regulator for the H5N gas. This one, of course, it says Regen on this dial. And nitrogen and argon can use the same regulator, but if you're gonna have gas, like hydrogen, for example, going through a regulator, you have to have a special one. This is our special one for regenerating the glove boxes, and we use it for both the small glove box and the large glove box. So I'm going to show you how to hook it up, in case you're not sure. This is the end that attaches. It's smaller than the nitrogen gas regulator, so it fits just right for this hydrogen tank. Now the regulator screws on in the opposite direction. Normally it would be lefty loosey righty tighty but in this case it's righty loosey lefty tighty. Make sure that that's nice and tight. Okay. And then the next step we have the hose that goes to the back of the glove box. It feeds in behind the uh, Q-Top Micro. And we're going to hook up the line. That just screws in on the end of the regulator here. Okay. Just wanna make sure that hose is on there tight also. Open the valve. And then this one also. And then we're going to incre increase the pressure till it hits this mark here. That's why we have the mark on there. Huge high end gas. Just adjust the knob until it hits that mark. Now you'll notice in this regulator we've got about 2,000 psi of H5N gas in here, which is plenty to regenerate the small glove box. We only need a maximum of about 1,100 psi, so that will nicely regenerate the small glove box. If we're regenerating the large glove box, then we will need a full tank of H5N gas. Alright, so we have this all set up and ready to go. Uh, we want to make sure that the pressure here is good, so add about 80 is pretty good pressure. And you want to make sure that you have enough nitrogen in the tank, so there's a thousand psi in this one, so that should work for our purposes. So now we have both of our gases set up and ready, so now we can go over to the glove box and we can turn on the correct settings that we need. This is our small glove box. There's an operating panel up here on the top. So there's a little sticker code that tells you what you have to push in order to get everything ready. The only things that you have to do to start the regeneration is you have to turn off the circulation. So you just hit Shift F4. And you can hear that noise of the circulation turning off. Alright, next 
we go to hit F1 and go to the regeneration screen and it says F2 for regen. Just hit F2. It asks if the gases are connected and they are. So now we hit F4. And that's all that you have to do. It just goes through the first phase where it says heating. There are four phases involved. After this is purging, and the next phase is evacuation, and followed by cooling as the final phase. Usually we would do this overnight because it can take about 12 hours. If you need to find the manual, it's just over here in this lovely pink booklet is the manual and then you can just click over to the regeneration section for more information about glove box regeneration so congratulations now you don't know how to regenerate the glove box